It was almost exactly one year ago that President Joe Biden nominated Julie Sue to be his labor secretary. But nearly 365 days later, Sue is still serving in an acting capacity. At the end of last year, after failing to vote on her confirmation, the Senate returned her nomination to the White House. Biden, standing firmly behind her, renominated Sue to the post this year. The Democrat-led Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee held a closed-door vote Tuesday to advance her nomination to the Senate floor over the protests of Republicans. The chair's decision to not hold a public hearing on Ms. Sue is unacceptable, shows a lack of transparency from the majority. It undermines the committee's constitutional duty to advise and consent on presidential nominees. No one is above accountability, especially an unconfirmed yet acting cabinet-level nominee with massive influence over our nation's economy. Critics of Sue claim she's too supportive of labor and too critical of business. They've complained about unemployment insurance fraud in California while she was the state's labor secretary and her support of vaccine mandates as deputy U.S. labor secretary. Last September, we sat down with Sue and asked her about her stalled confirmation. And as long as I'm acting secretary, I've got a job to do and I'm going to do it. Have you given up on a potential Senate confirmation at this point? No, I mean, I'm very respectful of that process. Um, I remain hopeful about it, but as long as I'm in this seat, I have an important job to do. The American people expect me to do it. Workers need a strong Department of Labor that is going to connect people to good jobs, that's going to enforce basic um, labor standards, that's going to pursue policies that benefit working families. So I'm going to keep on doing that. The reality here is that while it's a new calendar year, the math really hasn't changed for Sue. She needs nearly every Senate Democrat to support her confirmation. But Democrat John Tester and Independence Kirsten Cinema and Angus King are still not at a yes, and it's unclear why. So for the moment, she remains in limbo as acting labor secretary. In Washington, Cassie Simeon, Spectrum News.